there are these moments that I've had on YouTube where a certain synchronicity happens, and tonight is one of those nights. Uh, I'm just getting home from a, a friend's birthday party, and uh, I've had a few drinks, and, uh, you know, at the party, though, I was having this conversation about the difference between the finite and the infinite, and how, at least personally, sometimes it seems like the the infinite, the eternal, the unmanifest, the uncreated, being, pure being, it, that, that all of that is, is actually quite easy to grasp to be, to understand that, you know, but it, what's really hard to understand is how given infinity, how could the finite, uh, the, the definite, the particular, the bounded and restricted, the given, the material, the physical, how could that exist? within infinity. So, there's obviously, as far as I'm concerned, no end to our experience. There's no escape. You know, you're feeling down and depressed, you're going to commit suicide. There's no end. You're not just going to disappear. It's, you know, suicide is a really bad joke. Because you think you're you're actually gonna end it. And really you just wake up right where you started. So you, you know, you, you could reflect on that and say what a tragedy. Or you could realize that you know, whatever you think you are is a finite particular entity. That exists in an infinite context. So you're no one. And yet, you are everyone. So we do live in two worlds. I am an infinite self. I'm God. And yet, I'm quite finite. I die. Everything about me that you can see that, that expresses itself will perish and disappear and dissolve. Granted, there's, there's a spirit which will live on, but I can barely recognize that, much less you. you know. I think each of us has a certain multifaceted composition. We have a spirit, we have a soul, and we have a body. And, you know, you could break these layers up in different ways, this is just one way of doing it. But there does seem to be a certain gradation or difference in the dimensionality or a gradient in the you know, higher and lower vibrations of our existence or the more invisible, intangible, spiritual elements in comparison to the, the visible, tangible, material elements. Um, and the spirit is eternal, never was born and never really dies. But the soul seems to want to be embodied. It seems to want to exist, to be outside of itself. And it can only do that when it enters material existence. And so soul and body are, are pretty tightly interwoven. Spirit on the other hand, may be able to exist without the body. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not certain. But it's plausible. But while we're identified with our souls, we suffer because the soul is in the body. It's not separate from the body because the soul has desires. The soul is trying to learn something from our earthly existence that it can't learn from the spirit alone. That's why we incarnate. That's why we're here. 
because there's something about the finite that the infinite needs to be infinite. And yet, while we are here in time, we lose sight of that, that we are the infinite incarnate, and that when we die, what's really essential about our nature doesn't change, but everything else does. Death is our re-entry, reintroduction to the infinite. We always already are infinite or dead. As soon as we're born, we're already dead. We do seem to have an existence in two worlds, though. And that can be confusing, be difficult. You know, we all want to fight against the duality. It's perhaps uh, important to recognize that there is one and that we fight against it precisely because uh, it's real, just as real as the non-duality. A true non-duality includes the duality. <clears throat> you know, I don't pretend to understand it, even though I may have spoken for seven minutes about it. Um, you may know more than I what this means. That's the nature of existence, that you know me better than, than I know me. That maybe I know you better than you know me. You know, we're, we're so outside of ourselves as embodied beings, as incarnate spirits. When we incarnate, we lose ourselves. But, you know, it all comes back around. We will rediscover who we are. But for now, in time, we live a story. And as we live it, we pretend as if we don't know the end. But we do. We're just traversing eternity, arriving where we began.